I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in the Paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars! All right, the time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum, not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg vats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled and we can do a little bear hunting. Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice. Okay, this is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something sitting in that other car don't worry ringtail i have my shock pistol to keep me warm this is my stop i need to destroy those egg bats and then make my way to the rendezvous point keep your communication channel open i'll see you all later okay bentley just watch your step always sly always now that's what i call an extreme malfunction <laughs> There's the tower, Bob. You'll need to find the valve covers and pry them loose to disrupt the power output. Yes, it is a dangerous climb, but if anyone can do it, you can. Right, see you at the top. Good luck. Not bad. A little sloppy, though, don't you think? Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take it. Way to hustle, Sly! Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. Man! I knew I should have made that left turn! <laughs> it's gonna be nice, like sugar and spice, when I put that Koopa gang on ice. Chris? No way I'm letting this chump get away! Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray! We have to help him! Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chunks. The Paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do 
Escape. That's right. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, fat man, cause the Grizz is about to show you how to skate time. Nice moves, Murray. You were great. That performance was definitely a 10, pal. Murray. Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off, whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England. And as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. We'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper, a gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. The villainous stench of Le Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down he was pretty worried. Hopefully we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. Circus. I could have been the greatest trapeze artist. Uh huh, sure. Anyway, the tent. And with your shell, you'd be a natural for the guy they shoot out of the cannon every night. Right, cannons. Look, you better go check out that tower. It's a good vantage point, and we can assess the situation from there. Sir Galleth, my name is Sly. I've come to rescue you. Greetings, friend. But I require no rescue. I am merely biding my time until the uh, proper strategic moment. Yes, that. So, how long have you been biding your time? Well, I suppose it has been about a fortnight. All right. If you want to stay here with the cannonballs and flaming rings, that's fine. I'm heading back to my gang's hideout to plan our next move. You make a good point, sir. Yes, I believe the time is now. 
Let us rush forward, that we may strike a crushing blow against the Black Tyrant who imprisoned me. Whoa, one thing at a time. Let's just get back to the hideout first. Once Sir Galeth calmed down, we returned to the hideout and got the whole story. The surrounding area was held in the iron grip of a fearsome Black Knight. His origin was a mystery, but his power and technological might was impressive. He'd even created a new type of robotic guard, which patrolled tirelessly and without mercy. Galeth had been captured when he tried to take on these guards single-handedly. Bentley searched every criminal database in existence, but couldn't find a thing. All we had were more questions. Had Le Paradox somehow made an ally from this time period? And how had this Black Knight managed to create those mechanical monsters? When we explained to Sir Galeth who we really were, I don't know if he believed us or not. But it didn't matter. He just started ranting about taking the fight to the enemy and restoring the Cooper honor. Needless to say, the guy was a little intense. Until we figured out what was going on, I could see we were going to have to keep him on a short leash. Carmelita, what are you doing? Relax, Ringtail. Just keeping tabs on the Dragon Slayer. I don't recall you watching my back on any jobs. Only when I'm trying to catch you. But I find Galeth charming. He has a good heart, even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Galeth Cooper! Galeth, no! <laughs> hmm, mayhap Sir Bentley had a point. and a lack. I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... Are you hurt, Sir Galeth? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that. Okay, listen up! We need to hit the Black Knight where it hurts! And that means taking down the operations he set up in the village shops! First up, Murray, you'll need to visit the tavern! Sorry, big guy, no time for snacks! The tavern has been converted into a fuel production facility for those robotic guards! Get in there and do what you do best! Tear the place apart! Next, Sly, you'll need to revisit the shoemakers! We're going to shut down the machines fabricating those ginormous parts! Last, but certainly not least, Galeth, you'll need to infiltrate the bakery! My instrument readings show it's the main power source for the other production facilities! You're the only one who can reach the second floor, where I believe you'll find a generator! There's no time to waste, so let's get going! Okay, you heard, Bentley. Together, we can bring this whole operation down. Yeah! Let's go kick some butts! Bentley, he's going into the blacksmith shop. Should I follow him inside? Now, I'll take it from here, Sly. I should be able to get inside through that hatch on the roof. Time to get some answers. Rats, I can't hear anything from up here. 
I'll have to get closer without being seen. I can turn those laser fields off with my darts. Not a blasted Cooper gang. They may have shut down operations for the time being, but I'll have the last laugh. My castle is impenetrable. Once Operation Overlord is complete, I will be unstoppable. Operation Overlord? I don't like the sound of that. And where is that stinking the paradox when I need his help? He owes me everything for stealing Bentley's time machine plans. Bentley? Oh, Penelope, what a little fool you are. Oh, no. My plans? That means I caused all this? Penelope! Oh, please, Penelope, be all right! I swear on my mother's shell I will crush you myself, Black Knight! This blasted suit is so hot! I need some air! Much better! I can barely think in that thing! It's not possible! Phew! That thing's almost as stuffy as Bentley! Penelope? But why would she... If only Bentley hadn't been brainwashed by Cooper's honorable thief nonsense, we could have made billions in weapon design, the two most brilliant minds on the planet working together. We could have owned the world! But no matter. Once Cooper's out of the way, he'll see things my way. Poor Bentley. He's kind of cute when he's being dumb. I think I'm going to be sick. When Bentley returned to the hideout, he crawled into his shell and wouldn't come out. Nobody could blame him. Penelope may have betrayed our friendship and trust, but she betrayed Bentley's heart. I knew he blamed himself for the whole predicament, but it wasn't his fault. Everyone took turns trying to coax him out, but nothing worked. In the end, it seemed that Bentley would have to come back to us on his own. Unfortunately, we couldn't wait around. We had a villain to take down, with or without Bentley's help. And this time, it was personal. We need to take Penelope down, but how? Man, we need Bentley back. I am still a bit bewildered that the Black Knight was a friend of yours. Yeah, well, obviously she's no friend of ours now. In the face of such treachery, there is but one option. We storm the castle and smash this villain! Okay, slow down, Turbo. How do we get inside the castle? That? I know not. However, I do know how we may create some exceedingly useful explosive devices. You and I must part ways. I will gather fire bulbs while you must procure a bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Of course. And where would I get this? Why, at the carnival, of course. I hope your archery skills are satisfactory. Oh, I think I'm up to snuff. Then the die is cast. Fare thee well. <laughs> Step right up, ladies and gents. Try your luck in our game of skill. Well, hello, Governor. Want to have a go? Do well enough, and you could win yourself one genuine bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Guaranteed to cure despair, curl your hair, and answer your prayer. So, how is it for making bombs? I get it some fire bulbs in its bang zoom combustion. All right, troops, listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable. But we've got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Galeth, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me.
I'll sally forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallop, wait! Why, thank you, Gallus. I've been looking all over for that. She is making her escape! I don't think so. Ready, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. Huh? You heard me. Bentley, your suit is that my my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it anyway? The design was adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much, at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh. Bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential. Together, we could change the world. But you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. And I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. Thanks, Bentley. Look. I'm sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here. Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. Know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him, which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. 
He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley, and we were gonna need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. We'd traveled to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kupar, an ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits and enjoy their golden years in peace. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al Kupar for some time. He had been working with a few of the remaining thieves but had simply vanished. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out. Okay, Sly. Word on the street is that Salim al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding, and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binoculcom with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. Greetings. You're Salim al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement, Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music, Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Okay, apparently Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust.
The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. His place is a fortress and he never leaves. All business is conducted through a slot in the door. I think this is one time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. As you might imagine, his price is pretty steep. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Three to be exact. The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there. What do you want? I'm here to buy the thief outfit. Sorry, I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Man, these rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems, I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? All sales final, no returns. <laughs> Good job, Sly. Although it seems we have another problem. Selene tells me that Miss Decibel is constantly changing the locations of the captured thieves, which makes them almost impossible to track. It's gonna be... Hold on, Sly. I'm picking something up! Sweet sunspots! Sly, the paradox is here! He's mating with Miss Decibel right now! Oh. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect opportunity for a little eavesdropping. Great idea! Just one thing! That outfit won't fool these guards. They know the locals and they'll peg you for a stranger immediately. You should just stay out of sight. Thanks for the info, Bentley. I'm on my way. So, please tell me the operation is going according to plan. Of course. Everything is progressing splendidly. I have those raggedy little thieves completely under my control. I've never seen better forgeries. The documents they're producing are of the highest quality. Perfect. Once I get them back to the present day and my royal lineage is discovered, my wealth and power will be unstoppable. Well, <laughs> there is one tensy little problem. <laughs> we still need to feed our little worker bees, but our supplies are running low. The one who calls himself the Panther seems to work best when I feed him scorpion claws. Disgusting! <laughs> yeah, very well. I shall have some delivered immediately. Whatever it takes to keep these vermin working. Oh, and one more thing. Tell your guards if they don't capture Cooper, I will have them all fired and then executed. Tell me, what do you think of this little sand pit? Well, darling, this dry environment plays absolute havoc with my sinuses. <laughs> my music practice has been atrocious lately. Would you like to hear that? Not really, but I want you to hear me. Do not fail me like those other idiots, Shari. I'd hate to see you stranded here permanently. Oh, I, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Good, because the others have failed. Even Penelope, and she was the smart one. But now I have to turn my back on her. You understand. Oh, yes, of course. Everything will go precisely as planned. Uh, although, I must trouble you for some camel cheese. Absolutely horrid stuff, but the thief called the tiger seems to rely on it, and our reserves are almost depleted. Can't we just starve these filthy hoodlums into submission? Ah, fine. I will send a delivery boy. So, any more requests? Oh, no, sweetums. I believe that's all. As soon as the documents are complete, I will deliver them personally. Magnifique! Then I should have them very soon. Oh, wait. There is one lost itty bitty little thing. <laughs> the one called the lion seems to favor co 
silvery tails, and you know how troublesome those are to obtain. Fine, you shall have them. But I had better get those papers quickly. Boy, I'd hate to be the guy that has to collect the cobra tail. <laughs> Fly, I've got a crazy idea. That outfit may not work on the guards, but I bet outsiders like La Paradox and Miss Decibel wouldn't know the difference. She's expecting deliveries for the thieves, right? Try using the outfit to impersonate the delivery boy. If they buy it, we'll know where the thieves are being kept. Excellent idea, Bentley. And just to ensure it's foolproof, I'm gonna use my... No, Sly, don't say it! Italian accent! I said crazy, Sly, not suicidal! And who is this little pipsqueak? Yes, identify yourself immediately! It's a me, uh, the delivery boy. You are called? Hmm, I don't recognize your scruffy features. The other boys are out to seek. Uh, something about the snake bites. Is there something wrong with your voice? No, uh, I've been talking like this uh, my whole life. How droll. I see. Well, if you're really the delivery person, then you would know the usual orders, no? What a food does the panther require? Why, the panther loves the scorpion claws. <laughs> he appears to be legitimate. Oh, thank goodness. Here are the delivery locations. Hurry up, please. Sly, it's a good thing we're in Arabia, because in Italy, that accent would be considered a felony. Now let's go rescue those thieves. Okay, Salim, we know that Decibel has the panther somewhere in that tower. Trying to go through the palace itself would be impossible. Luckily, this carpet shop is going to save us the trouble. Ah, yes. Honest Hassan's carpets. He owns many, many shops, but he is not so honest. Trust me. In fact, we used to run a flying carpet scam where he would pretend to be... Kind of pressed for time here. Fine. Please continue. So, according to my diagrams, the shop is connected to the tower. There's a vent system on the side of the building. All you have to do is crawl through the vents, and it will lead you straight into the shop. From there, you can make your way through the shop's interior to the tower. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. I would like to see you crawl through vents when you are my age. Talk to you inside the shop. Good luck. Wait, this room doesn't match my blueprints. It must have been renovated recently. Give me a minute to figure this out. Oh, by Aladdin's beard. Do you not know that rule number 37 in the Thieves' Handbook is expect the unexpected, foresee the unforeseen, predict the unpredictable? Keep your turban on. My sonar readings show an old passageway through a cave system beneath the floor. Let's see. Massive payload, angle of incident, relative humidity divided by two. Got it. Salim. If we could drop that pallet of carpets in the corner, it should slash a hole in the floor straight through to the caverns below. We? It seems that I will be doing all the work. How about we just talk when you reach the passageway? If only I had a magic lamp, I would wish for this job to be over. Huh. All right, Selene, you're in. Now you just have to make your way to the top of the tower. Of course, climbing, my favorite. I don't see an access point, but that lever looks worth investigating. And be careful not to stir up the scorpion nests in here. <laughs> Your friend is in a kind of hypnotic trance. The strange sonic frequency modulations emitted by that device are causing it. I've seen this type of thing once before on a mission in Prague. But this is on a whole new level. Mind controlled by music, it's genius. Uh, well, evil genius. Then all hope is lost. No, we just need to disable the device before freeing him. But we have to proceed carefully, or we risk turning his brain into jelly. 
What is this jelly? Oh, uh, mm. sort of like mm. Baba Ganoush or hummus, mm. but fruity. Ooh. Exactly. Just give me a closer look at that thing so I can turn <gasps> it off. My brother, are you all right? Oh, oh, my head. Where am I? You have been imprisoned, hypnotized, and compelled to create forgeries by that evil elephant. But I have freed you from her mesmerizing music. With, you know, some assistance. That's nice. I'm hungry. Did you bring me anything to eat? Perhaps some nice roasted scorpion tails? Maybe some camel milk? Amazing! I climb halfway to the stars to rescue you, and you expect camel milk? Why do I bother? Okay, Murray, the thief known as the Tiger is being held inside that taxi shop. My data shows the interior is small, but well reinforced. Also, there don't appear to be any guards inside at the moment. I think this one is pretty straightforward. You and Sly go in through the front door. After that, your muscles should be enough to handle the situation. No problem, Bentley. My mighty biceps are itching to go to work. Wow, he's right there. This is gonna be easier than taking pizza from a baby. I think you mean candy, buddy. Oh yeah, I love candy. I think we need to be careful here, Murray. Something feels off. I'm over here, Murray. Hey, Sly, where are we? I'm not sure, pal, but it looks like we found the secret entrance to something. Sly! Murray, come in! Are you there? Bentley? I think you're breaking up. Sly, I don't think I can get over this wall. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And we seem to have lost the Banakicom link with Bentley. Don't worry. Let's just keep moving forward. Hmm. There's bound to be a way out around here somewhere. Hey, Sly! I see some kind of weird switch up here. I'm gonna give it a try. Go for it, pal. I'm kind of stuck right now anyway. Sly! There's some kind of whirly blade gizmo in my way. If I get any closer, it's gonna turn me into Hippo Burger. Okay, Murray. Let me see if I can do something from my end. Sly, come in! Over! Bentley! Nice of you to join us. Sly, are you and Murray all right? Something knocked out communications. Did you take a fall? Sort of. It's a long story. But are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I can't wait to- Too bad you can't touch it. Wait, what? Sorry, Sly. If you touch anything, you're going to alert the guards. Just stepping on those coins could do it. You need to leave this treasure alone. And don't forget to use Salim's outfit to navigate the trickier jumps. Man, this guy looks like Murray that time he won that burrito eating contest. That's a bad memory. Ugh, I couldn't ride in the van for months. Although, this is reminding me more of the time when Murray was brainwashed by the Contessa. However, this machine is using some kind of music to adjust his brainwaves and control his behavior. It's fascinating. In a completely obscene bad guy kind of way, of course. Well, I wouldn't mind having one of these to control Murray's appetite. According to my readings, it's too risky to just disconnect him. He might never come out of the trance. I need you to examine the device so I can hack it and shut it off. <laughs> oh, my head is spinning like a dust devil. 
Who are you? Relax, pal. I'm a friend of Salim's. Oh, Salim. Did he give you anything for me? Like all the money he owes me for betting on the camel races? Uh, sorry. You'll have to take that up with him. I most certainly will. Why, this is going to get dicey. Security has definitely been beefed up. Those turrets are too well protected to attack directly. Ordinarily, I'd hack the security system, but that might take some time, and we need to hurry. There's no telling when Decibel might move the lion again. This may be our only chance. So, what are you thinking, Bentley? I think we need to use some smoking mirrors. Uh, minus the mirrors. Meaning... I'll use the RC chopper to drop smoke bombs at strategic points, which should keep the turrets from seeing you. Then, since Salim knows this city like the back of his hand, he can guide you to a secure location. Hopefully he's had his nap today. <sighs> Just make sure you get to a safe spot before the smoke clears, otherwise you're gonna be missile bait. Age before beauty. No, 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 you mean wisdom before youth. Would you two get going? Just waiting on the wise guy, Bentley. This is it, Sly. The lion's just ahead. Open sesame. That outfit makes you a better thief, Sly, not a genie. Now, why don't you help me with this door? <laughs> Close, Sesame! Eh, so you got lucky. Whew! The stench in here is making my eyes water. I feel sorry for your friend. That decibel is really cruel. Well, unfortunately, that might be the lion's socks. He always hated doing laundry. Oh, well, maybe she was just protecting her sense of smell. I was being charmed like a snake and could not break free. That was no nightmare, my friend. Salim, you were in my dream too. You brought me many delicious snacks. What is with you guys and all the food? Salim, who is this insolent pup? Oh, don't worry about him. He is a friend who helped rescue you. In fact, he is my assistant. Assistant? What are you talking about? Why? Play along. It's better if less people know what's going on anyway. Great. It's gonna be a long day. Oh, and don't forget what's left of that device slide. I'm almost done with a little invention of my own. All right, Salim. I've disabled the security system in the village, but Miss Decibel has retreated to her private office above the library. We need to get in there so we can plant a bug and find out what's going on. However, my schematics show the building is heavily secured, and it appears only someone with your climbing ability can gain access. I do not understand. How will putting an insect in there tell us anything? At most, it will just annoy her. No, not that kind of bug. This is a small device that can transmit sound so we can listen to her conversations. Oh, does it also bite? Look, don't worry about the bug. Right now, I need you to find a way into that study so you can let me in. I'll take over from there. All right, Bentley. I will find a way inside while you play with your bug. Okay, Salim. I need you to plant that bug in Miss Decibel's office, but... First, we need to get her out of there. I've reprogrammed those transmitters she was using on your friends with some new music. Once you place them around the room and I activate them, she's gonna come running. How do you know this? Because she happens to be a music snob, and I'm about to give her a dose of something she can't stand. Good old rock and roll. I do not care for rocks and rolling either. No, it's... Never mind. Just get those transmitters in place. 
Once I activate those transmitters with my darts, Miss Decibel will be dancing to a different tune. All right, now I just have to activate those transmitters and get this party started. My goodness, that awful screeching! It can't be rock and roll! Ah! Must destroy! Okay, Salim, shake a leg. Plant that bug. Great work. She'll never no, guess there's a bug in that you. statue of her boyfriend. Okay, Salim, the bug is active. Now make tracks and fast. Okay, thanks to our bug in Miss Decibel's office, we now have all the information we need. It appears she has been producing counterfeit documents for La Paradox creating a false family history that will make him an esteemed member of royalty in the present day. I've managed to inspect some of the documentation, and believe me, if we allow him to get away with this, his wealth and power will make him untouchable. I believe he is planning this to be his last and greatest caper. The key to stopping him begins with us getting through that security door of the lamp shop. I haven't been able to discover what's behind it, but we know that's where Decibel will deliver the papers to La Paradise. However, since we don't want to announce our presence, we need a diversion for the guards. So I've taken the liberty of fashioning an outfit for Carmelita, who will use it to lure the guards away from their posts by, uh, performing a belly dance. What? Possibly your best plan ever, Bentley. I'm sorry I didn't ask, Carmelita, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Uh, Bentley, I, I could do it. I am not getting into that outfit. I realize it's a bit revealing, but think of it as going undercover. Bentley? I'm positive the Murray could squeeze into that thing. Hey, Carmelita, you should model that outfit for us to make sure it fits. Shut up, Ringtail. I'm only doing this for the team. Listen, silk is very elastic. All right, let's move out. We don't have any time to waste. Okay, Carmelita, we need you to distract those guards and get them away from that door. Yeah, bust a move, Carmelita. How about I bust your face, Cooper? We're counting on you, Carmelita. Meet us inside once you can lose the guards. Bentley, you owe me big time for this one. Here you big apes! Oh. Oh. Over here, you dumb knuckle draggers! <laughs> I am thinking I should go no further. I have passed my greatest wisdom on to you. The last of my friends are now retired, and I have had enough snakes and scorpions and climbing for three lifetimes. Besides, I was thinking someone should watch over Carmelita to make sure she is safe. All right, Salim. We couldn't have made it this far without you, but I think we can handle it from here. You've definitely earned your retirement. Go enjoy it. And the belly dancing. Thank you. I win. expecting. 
an underground docking station for La Paradox's blimp. No wonder we haven't seen that thing floating around. So, what's our next move, Bentley? Well, first we need something to distract those guards, so I can get to that control room. I whipped up a surprise for Miss Decibel with the leftover material from Carmelita's outfit, but I think it might work better here. Finally! Just point me in the direction of the changing room and... What the? Password, way too easy. Overriding security. Power grid rerouting. Accessing laser network. PC load letter shut down in three, two, one, yes. Uh, Bentley, what just happened? I'm not sure. I must have tripped some kind of fail-safe backup. Hold on a sec. Ah, the three musketeers. One step behind as usual. May you never change. And may you always stay downwind. Ah, Cooper, you're so pathetic. You don't even realize you've already lost. We haven't lost yet, the paradox. Oh, no. Bonjour, my large friend. What took you so long? Oh, drat. Salim. Hello, Cyril. I found this filthy old scoundrel unconscious outside. Actually, he's yesterday's trash. Precisely why I threw him away. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cane. Which, as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh. Double drat. Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard. Hold that blimp. So sorry, Sherry. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea-bitten rat ruining my plans. and the Paradox establishes a royal ancestry for himself, all of our futures are in peril! You've got to stop them! How, Selene? I tried... to stop him. He'll be fine, Sly. Right now, you've got to stop that pachyderm! I'm on it, like stink on a skunk. This is your fault, Koopa! Straight your demise! Why won't you leave us alone? <laughs> you little flea bag! I'll squash you like a hairy bug! Well, it would seem this game is finished. How boring. Let me in! I don't think so. 
You see, we have already reached maximum weight capacity. Perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get your paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Uh, well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noises, and as for your music... Hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Who are you filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel? <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying anything. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady, she has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Sly Cooper! Ah well, c'est la vie. We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. Le Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestor's canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. We'd finally made it home to Paris, only to find a place we hardly recognized. It was obvious Le Paradox was now in control, since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief. But what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. Only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. With his father gone, Le Paradox had no one to teach him the family business. And after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, Le Paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita. All right, we all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. 
You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly. We're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. <laughs> Carmelita! Sly! No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Two rats in one trap. I knew you could not resist, Goober. You are so predictable. Oh, yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big threats from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you, too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, Bentley-san. Rat Troopers at 12 o'clock! No time for a break, guys! We have to keep moving! There's Bob's cane. Looks like this one is all you, Ryuichi. Yummy! It is my pleasure, my most hairy ancestor. Ryuichi, I'm picking up an energy field shift centered on you. Yes, I sense it is my time to go. It has been an honor meeting all of you. Sayonara. It's working! The temporal abnormality is correcting itself. Bob, we need you to get Salim's cave. <laughs> Outstanding, uh -huh. Bob. Looks like you're heading home now. Watch out for those penguins! This is going well, but we're not out of the woods yet. We have to keep pushing! Salim, you're the only one who can reach Gallus Cade. Forsooth! I would entrust this to no other! Oh, again with the climbing? Very nice, Salim. You've definitely earned your retirement. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right. Now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we need your skills to get Tennessee's cave. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. Truly remarkable, Galath. This looks like farewell. Indeed. Once more unto the breach go I. Fare thee well, you all. More vermin dead ahead. We're getting close, guys. Those switches are completely out of our reach. Tennessee, this looks like a job for you. Just what I was hoping for, Bentley. 
I've been itching to get in on the action, too. Nice shooting! Now, let's find Sly! Ah, alone at last. How cozy. You want cozy? I'm going to throw you and all your friends into the same prison cell. Ah, but no. It is the two of you of whom I am thinking. To be together. Forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Le Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this. My marvelous contraption. The time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly? Cooper, you filthy vermin! Woo wait! Cut back closer than a $10 shave! Breaking my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! No! Take on Alita and get off this thing! We all need to leave right now! That maniac just tore a hole in time space! I need to finish this fight here and now, for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second! Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go! Sly, I... I know. Me too. Sly, do you read me? Get out of there, Sly! Uh, uh, so, before we finish this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. This is not right! My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. So predictable. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again.
It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoonus were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest, even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Ryoichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. <laughs> Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as egg thief extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful if overly dramatic, actor. <laughs> huh. 
Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. <laughs> After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globe-trotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. <laughs> 